Let's check this out. Um, change skills. Fury. Crumbling cut. So I don't need... I don't need this. What is it? Here it is. Crumbling cut. Deal physical sword damage to a single foe with potency 230. And impart physical defense down for two turns. Okay, I like that. That actually might be better than double arching blow when it's boosted. So that's that's probably a better and it costs less. And if I buffer with physical attack up first, that could that could be helpful. Alright, let's try it. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's do it. Alright. Let's do it. All right. So yeah, if I do this, that's potency 130 twice. That's 260. If I do this, this is potency 300. Yeah, so it's it's going to be better all around. Let's go. Cool. Thank you for the for the assistance there. All right. So I'm just using this to break them. And this is going to be 130 each. That's 260. And this is going to be only 170. So yeah, this is going to be way better. Um, for breaking him, though, we might as well just use this and not waste MP, right? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> and he's going to provoke. Even though they're going to get hit first. Everybody's going to get hit first. Is there a defense up for the front row that we can use first, actually? What if I switch her back? No, that's probably not going to be good. Elemental attack up and elemental defense up. Part front with elemental attack up. So maybe we buff everybody on the front. Part front with physical defense up. Maybe we just do some buffs first. And then go then go to town on this guy. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. Alright, so now we can do three. six and then we can easily break him on the turn after that all right so now we're gonna break him this turn which means if we want to do that seems like we want to at least hit him once with the crumbling cut so let's see if we hit him with that can we still break him so they can do four times they can do two times So that breaks him. And then she can do debilitate to get his defense down even more. So that's gonna be down like the full the full amount, I think, right? Is it max 30%? Or is it max 50%? So that's physical defense and elemental defense. Physical defense is gonna be way down. So we're gonna use crumbling cut twice. We're gonna use it once to get his defense down, then we're gonna max it out and do it again. 
Alright, physical defense down. Elemental. Oh no, Fabio is paralyzed? Crap. Crap, that's not what we wanted. Alright, so we're gonna heal there. Alright, who's going first? So Mina's gonna do this. No, I need to heal first. So... All right, so that means he's going to heal, then she's going to go three times. We could also take his physical attack and defense down. Who's going first? Oh, she is. Dang it. So she goes, and then we... This will break him. Yeah, that's probably better. I'm trying to be safe, but I think it might actually end up screwing me over. I want them to get the heal. Alright, so now we're gonna go nuts, right? So now we go nuts, we switch to her. We do crumbling cut again, but this time maxed out with a potency of 400. This one, we wild blow to the max. And him, we just go crazy. And then we switch back and do maybe... Does he still have a... He still doesn't have taunt on, does he? I think it's smarter for me to taunt. Yeah, 8,000 is way better. Yeah, that crumbling cut worked a lot better. Okay. So we need to get kind of flowing. Alright, so I think I need to get it down. I need to get him down quick. Four. Three. That's seven. We need to have a heal ready. Uh, we can do cunning counters this time. I just need to heal him. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Um, I don't think we want to go to her yet. So I think we need one... Two, three. I think that's seven. And if I switch her, I get another debilitating. long as everybody attacks like they're supposed to. Okay. And then we switch back here. We use Crumbling Cut. We switch back here and use Wild Blow. See, he's gonna do potency 200. She's gonna do two hits for 120, which seems like, or he's gonna do, that's gonna be 240, right? So that's more damage. My problem is I'm out of charges to break him the next time. So it almost seems like it might be better to just do this because I need to break him again. That'll do another couple hits. 205. Yeah, that's gonna be better. I think I still have taunt. We 
got taunts. I think we're going to need to heal. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's six. Nope. I didn't have taunts up. Dang it. I was one I was one turn off. Now I have no heal. Um, I do have a heal. Yeah, I have healing him. If I need to use it. So now we have one. Two. Three, four. So that's four. Okay, cool. I didn't need a heal there at all, so that's good. And then I need basically one, two, Three, four. Actually, you know what? I don't need this, so I can do... I can do a regular crumbling cut to get his defense down. This could be... One. Yeah, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, and we take his defense down a lot. I don't think I can do it without Millard, though. Yeah, I don't think I can do this without Millard. We max that out. Max this out. Max that out. And then we make sure we taunt. We're really close. I think we're going to be really close. It's going to be four. Eight. Nine, ten. We can break him right here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then we can do this again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're breaking him here. And then I don't think we're quite going to get there with the damage on the next go around. But we'll be close. We might be able to pull it off. Try this. We're on turn 15. Oh my gosh, we are so close. Look at this. Sliver of life. The three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine ten. I cannot. How can I break him? How can I break him? I have. This is only. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Right? Oh. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay, cool. So he's not going to attack this turn. He's going to do his special thing. Oh, he did attack. That's all right. Gosh, we are so close. Rehabilitate. He's getting serious now. Now we just now we just kill him right here. We got to kill him right here, dude. I think we got this. He's got a sliver. We got him. Yes! We did it. I know Fiori was power paralyzed. I didn't. Well, I mean, I didn't know it, but but we got it. We got there. Woo, that was close. Splendid, take this. Battle test a bow, baby. All right, all right. I said we'd do it. I said we'd do it. Let's get our let's get our rubies. We're gonna go ahead and pull once on each of the new banners just to just to take a shot in the dark. got more influence up so we got another 10 rubies on top of that nice another 110 all right let's go ahead okay let's just do it i i said it my brother pointed it out i said at one point that i was going to that i was going to pull at least once on every banner or for at least once on every carry on every step up banner just because it's a little bit of a discount, there's a good chance I can get characters, stuff like that. So, we're going to go ahead and do one step, one, the first step of Lionel's banner and the first step of Cardona. So, we'll start with Cardona. Because um, I have a few, I got like 600 rubies, so we'll, we'll do it. And I've got a bunch more battle tests to do, so I get 100 rubies for each one of those, which would be nice. So, let's go ahead and do a quick pull for Cardona and Lionel. And then I'm going to make a master video for my YouTube channel um, um, with all of the uh, the fight and then the pull at the end. They, awesome. You got Lionel on your first step. Dang. And then you didn't get Cardona in three. I'm sorry about the Cardona thing. I just want characters. Like, that's what I want. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to guide for the first time on the Cardona banner. Boom. We need swirlies. We need swirlies. Golden swirlies. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm terrible at saving, too. <laughs> Golden swirlies! Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. We upgraded a little bit. We're going to get at least a four star. Okay, so that's pearl. First pull. Pull number two. Noel. Three. Ashlyn. Four. There's our four star Sigrid. Five. Ooh! Awakening for Scarecrow. I'll take awakenings all day long. Hey, that's this is almost just worth it for that. Six. That was, that was five, right? Seven. Eight. A four-star Helga. Nine. Three-and-a-half-star Kles. 
And the last one is... A three and a half star Pia. That actually was a pretty decent pull overall. Getting the, uh... Getting the Scarecrow Awakening is helpful. Very helpful. I think that puts me at Awakening 2. So I think I'll get another, another skill for him, which would be really nice. Alright, now we'll try on the Lionel banner. Let's see what we get here. La Latte Zero, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, my, my, my alerts are not working. The audio part of the alert is not working, so I'm not noticing it right away. But thank you, Latte. Thank you, Shine With Dark, for both of your follows this afternoon. I appreciate that. All right, let's do the Lionel banner one time. Come on, let's give me, give, show me some gold. Show me some gold. Show me the gold, baby. Show me the gold. Oh, nothing. That's okay. That's okay. Four and a half stars are fine. Not even, probably. This looks like a total dud. Julio? Three and a half star Devin. Three and a half star Bertrand. Four star Barad. Four star Tahir. Six is Penny. Three and a half star Shelby. Three star Pearl. Four star Heinz. And a Billy. Alright, so basically duds. The Scarecrow was good. The Scarecrow was good. Got a lot of three and a half stars there. And actually, what, three, four stars? So, I mean, average average it's 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 actually not too bad it's always a bummer not to see those five stars though